Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Right, so we do have Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and as well rising on our hands. And uh, just give me a second, uh, a couple of seconds, guys, uh, to shuffle the cards, and uh, we are to jump right into it. I don't know why I cannot get this one right. Uh, probably fatigue. Uh, in any case, The first card we got for you, that is going to be the Empress. Moving next, we do have the Four of Wands, followed by the uh, Page of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Moon card. And the last one here, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, right, so uh, what we do have for you, Capricorn, it's a really good setup that you are going to do at the start of the week, and that is displayed here by the Empress card. So at the start of the week, uh, it seems that you are going to uh, indulge yourself with things that you do can that that you can. I'm sorry, and uh, your strive for yourself in general, is going to be to make yourself as comfortable as possible. May that be because you want to muffle some kind of a poignant experience from the past or just because you are to uh, reach a conclusion that at the end of the day you got to do something better for yourself. That doesn't matter. The whole point of uh, the Empress it is that you are going to start taking care more for yourself at that given time. And that is going to, guys, make you think more toward the uh, the distant future and what you can do with the current means that you do have, you know, with the current resources that you do have about to secure that future. So at the start of this week, you may start planning something big about your career, right? Or planning something big about your, uh, about your family, if you do have such, or planning something big in terms of yourself how to interact with the world so you can attract love. Now, this planning is going to make you withdraw from activities, okay? You are to become more quiet in terms of uh, career development, not development, but in terms of career interactions and interactions in general. That is because uh, your brain is going to work at that particular time in terms of making a well-found decisions for yourself and how you can become, like the card says, Empress, because the uh, realization that is going to take place at the start of the week, it is that if you don't do something good for yourself, nobody else will, right? And that itself leads to a conclusion that you are going to reap whatever you are to sow. May that be bitter or sweet, it's yours to reap. So that's why you would want to make the most well-found, accurate, balanced, and mature decision for yourself and for your future. And that is a really good setup because right after that, we do have the Four of Wands and the Four of Wands speaks that based on these conclusions, you are going to undertake very, very important matters and sort those matters out, either in terms of career or either in terms of relationship or in terms of social circles, uh, whichever way that develops for you. Those matters which are unfinished, which are posing um, obstacles, predicaments, or in generally are, <laughs> I do apologize, are slowing you down, okay? You're going to undertake them and it seems that at least according to this card, you are going to resolve them. So whichever plan you are creating at the start of the week, after, right after you do create the plan and you do um, 
how do I say it? Um, you, you do address the major points of it here with the Four of Wands. Finally, this plan can start be initiating, okay? It can start manifest itself or whatever it is to get uh, manifested. Yeah, whatever the plan poses, it's, it can manifest or it can start manifesting itself afterwards. So right after you um, realize what you want for yourself and how to become comfortable, how to become successful, you know, uh, or how to become loved and so on and so forth, this cycle completes and right after that you are jumping into a action manifesting it. Now the four of wands, especially in this particular deck here, as you can see, forms the circle of power. And right after it's manifest that circle, it releases the uh, the energy from the, from the middle. And this energy, it is yours to be pointed or directed into a certain direction. If that's love what you want, then you have to plan in that direction. If, if that's a money that you want, you have to plan into that direction. But once again, the planning needs to be well found, mature as well. I want to scratch this one around. It needs to be mature and it, it, it pretty much needs to be balanced as well. Moving next, uh, we do have the Page of Pentacles. And uh, right after, uh, you know, you successfully complete that cycle of development here, which is your plan and your decisions, and you start manifesting that plan moving forward, we do have a follower stepping up. Now, that could be a person you know, it could be somebody new as well, but what they do, it is that they see a thing of worth, okay? So they are to happen either to be very devoted to your agenda or to your plan, or they could be very devoted to you. So if that's the case, if they are very devoted to you, that is most likely somebody that always seeked your attention or always, you know, kind of like wanted to keep in touch with you. And if this is a, a love reading, I would say that that is a person, a friend of yours, someone that you do know that had a secret crush on you and now they are feeling ready to, uh, to pretty much divulge all of that. That is because they are seeing you very determined into one specific direction, uh, you know, as uh, your plan. And if they don't catch that very final moments, you know, where you are open for something new, uh, they are going to pretty much miss a chance uh, for a, a quite of a long time because after you start manifesting your plan, you are not going to have any time for anything else aside from that. Uh, Page of Pentacles, they are very loyal, right? And they are very um, attached to the agenda and to the person. The problem with the Page of Pentacles it is that they are uh, very slow in term of uh, in term of development. That is because they want they are very meticulous and they want everything to be as perfect as possible. So if you do uh, hope that any kind of decision or any kind of approach is gonna come from them, well, you may kind of like grow beard while you're waiting them to do so. So definitely if that's a, a love interaction or a business interaction or any kind of an interaction in general that is in an equal, uh, in an equal state or an, in an equal scale, you have to take the initiative. And uh, right after that, we do have the moon card. And the moon card here serves just as the purpose as that uh, your realization that you did the right thing, okay? Uh, aside from that, as you do realize that you do that you did the right thing, that is gonna make you rather uh, also you are going to start feeling a bit uncertain and insecure, not with your own actions, but with the uh, stability of the situation. And this is the uh, this is the company of knowing that you did the right thing. So you do the right thing, all right, in a sense of that. Um, you said what you had to say, you know, or you undertook the project that you had to undertake. And now the fear of, is this going to last, is going to be embedded here with the, uh, with the moon card. Uh, is, this, uh, is this opportunity that you took 
right, or a love that you have attracted is going to last as much as it needs to, or for example, a lifetime. Yes, it will. The, 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 the thing with the moon card, it is that the fantasies of the doom and gloom, you know, or in generally fantasies that things are not going gonna go uh, the mo in the most beautiful way, which you have signed up for, are going to be in presence. That is because certain circumstances that are surrounding the situation are not going to be visible for you. You're, you're just not gonna have the full picture here, okay? And that is gonna make you uh, being afraid for, for your relationship, for your marriage, say, or for the position of your work, or simply said, you're going to be afraid because things are gonna seem way too good to be true. Now, you have to do whatever you can to quickly shake that fear off your mind. Uh, it is because in reality, there is nothing you to be afraid of, and you definitely should not deviate from the path that you have chosen here, with the first couple of cards, the Empress and the Four of Wands. And the last one that we do have for you, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. And that is another person that you meet uh, in, the, in that path that you are gonna walk here, which the moon does describes the path of light that is described here in this, um, in this version of Tarot. And the Queen of Pentacles, uh, it's, um, it's a card of reassurance. Now, this person meets you, say, halfway through your development or whatever you have decided to manifest. And a couple of things may happen there as this person meets you. Uh, first, like I said, is reassurance that you are on the right track, that that is somebody who have already accomplished what you are after. And it's just reassuring you that you are doing the right thing, that you are doing the things the right way, all right? And uh, the other thing that may happen here with the Queen of Pentacles, it is that is going to, uh, let's say, a little bit criticize you about um, the aspects of either your relationship or aspects either regard, uh, re regarding your work that you can do better. And it's going to point you how you can do these things better. Whether you are going to listen to this individual or not, that is entirely up to you guys. Well, what you need to know here is that this Queen of Pentacles is not concerned about your well-being. She just, I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be a, a, a man. So that person pretty much cannot stand somebody to has a potential and not to unfold that potential. Okay, so that, that is the only reason why, they, why this individual is going to be um, in any help of you. Not because they care about you. They have their own domain. They probably have their own family. They probably have their own uh, as well business. So they are going to be just fine without you as well. In fact, they're going a little bit out of their way to help you. That being said, they're going to tell you these things only once. Whether you hear them or not, whether you comply to them or not, that is entirely up to you. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.